Hi, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So this is going to be a really quick video. Um, I wanted to say that I'm starting to do things to save money. My income has dropped drastically, and Tom's has now too. And so I want to, I don't know how to explain I want to still have the comforts of everything that we've had, but I want to do it cheaper. <laughs> So I've been making a lot of my own cleaners and things like that. So um, I've gotten free from Team U those sheets. They come this big. And then I cut them a half and I put them in that cleaner to clean my countertops and stuff off with, which that cleaner works amazing even on my stainless. But the thing is I cut it in half and it hasn't frayed yet. But I don't want it to, so I'm going to cut, you know, I'm going to sew down through here. So, because this is actually a washed one. It turns out they wash beautiful. They wash beautiful. Um, it's an investment in the beginning. You get 10 of them. I think they're like $5.98. Um, this is not a Team U commercial. This is something that I'm doing. <coughs> so, what I'm doing now is I'm cutting them all in half. And let me show you what I'm doing here. So for the girl that says, I'm sure you don't know how to sew, she isn't part of our group anymore. But anyway, I do. <laughs> I'm sewing just the one end because the other ends are already sewed. My bottom is starting to get empty. It'll probably be empty before I get done here. <laughs> and then what I'm doing is... I'm going to have different uses for all these. Okay, so, now I made a stack of them. Now this stack right here is going to be used for napkins. So I'm going to put them in my napkin holder here. Those are going to be used for napkins. What I have been using is baby washcloths. But if you notice, they roll over and they just, they don't wash that well. And then out in the kitchen for my, um, you know, to wipe around the rims of when I'm canning, I've been taking a washcloth and I've been cutting them into quarters. But see how they fray and do all that? I don't want that in my canned goods. So I'm also going to make a stack of those for that. And then um, I was trying. Oh, then I lost a train of thought. Um, I got some of those reusable um, paper towels. So what I ordered was this thing, and I'm going to hang it up in my back room so every time I want to go reuse one of the paper towels, I rinse it out really well and I'll hang it on here to dry. So I am trying to figure out things so that you can still have the comfort of home, and yet it's reusable, and not only is it money savings, but think about what we're doing for our landfills. So, I mean, and those are cute. And they're just the perfect size, and they are very, very soft. So, you know, um, you don't have to buy it from Team U. If you find something else that is comparable somewhere else, give it a try. But I thought I'd show you what I'm doing just to try to save a little bit of money, and it might work for you too. So I can replace napkins. I can replace the little washcloths for my canning, um, and then I can also use it for my cloths to wash off the countertops with my new cleaner. And I'm thinking about using those as, um, instead of using the things from the Dollar Tree, using that for my, um, for my dryer sheets. How about that? And um, so, you know, because you're going to use it more than once or twice. So I think they'll hold up a lot better than the other towels will. So I just wanted to let you know something that I'm doing to try to save money. It takes a little bit of money to start it and a little bit of work. You can hand sew if you don't have a... Um, a sewing machine. Mine died over COVID because of all the masks I was making for everybody. And so I picked up this one, I think for 79 or $99 or something. And I've made a few blankets out of it and everything else. So <laughs> she's getting her use. But I just want to show you things that we can do to try to save money and make our households run a little bit smoother. You guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing.